I work mostly with wood, but occasionally I have to cut a piece of metal, but not often enough that it's worth investing in a metal chop saw. So I'd like to use my woodworking miter saw to cut metal. But the velocity of the teeth on a woodworking saw is about double what it is on a metal chop saw. So I could just get a metal, a 10 inch metal cutting blade, put it on here and it would work, but it would be running twice as fast as it should. And so maybe not give a, um, an ideal cut, it might overheat or maybe I couldn't apply the proper pressure without slowing down the motor. So my thought is if I put a five inch blade on here, then I would have the correct tooth velocity. But a five inch blade won't give me much depth of cut. So I thought I'd try an eight inch blade. That'll give me enough depth of cut. Um, it'll be much slower tooth velocity than a 10 inch blade moving towards what it would be on a metal cutting saw. There's the eight inch metal cutting blade. And right away I can see the problem is that it will not cut through material that's placed against the fence. There's a little gap there. I made this insert from one inch thick MDF. I chose one inch because the radius of the blade as I go from 10 to 8 inch is reduced by 1 inch on the radius. I'll attach it to the saw with screws through these holes. I inserted a hardwood spline on the back and on the front so that when the blade cuts through it'll still be supported and not fall into two pieces. These holes and little divots here are not part of the design. It's just because I'm recycling this MDF from another project. So there I'm screwed in. I've offset this because I'll almost always be bringing a piece in from this side and cutting this way, that's more natural for me. And I've locked the slider so that this becomes a chop saw. I don't want to slide through and cut the whole thing in half. Now I will cut a zero clearance slot. Dimension is five inches plus one more inch for the MDF for a total six inch. And this way it's two inches plus an inch for the MDF base for a total three inch. After that cut, there's still a good amount of uh, meat here left to strengthen that and that would of course be wider at, on the bottom side and on the back as well there's a good amount left for strength reinforced with that hardwood. 